An asteroid twice the size of Egypt's biggest pyramid will whiz past the Earth later this month. Here are the details. NASA reports that asteroid 2017-AE3 will pass by the Earth on December 29th. Scientists calculated that the fast-flying space rock is between 116 meters to 260 meters in width, making it between one and two times the size of Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza. At a speed of 19 kilometers per second, the huge rock would cause quite a lot of damage if it did ever circle back and hit Earth on its orbit around the Sun. Scientists calculate that such a rock would release an amount of energy at least a thousand times greater than the energy released by the first atomic bomb if it impacted Earth. Luckily, on its current pass, the space rock will only pass Earth at a distance of 3.54 million kilometers, which is much farther away than the Moon's 385,000 kilometers. The asteroid orbits the Sun once every 913 days, but the next time it comes close to Earth will be in the year 2114, when it will fortunately only come within 12.6 million kilometers of Earth. Asteroid 2017 AE3 was first detected January 2, 2017. It is classified by NASA as a potentially hazardous asteroid because its orbit around the Sun brings it close to hitting Earth every few decades. Scientists discovered that an ancient city near where the biblical city of Sodom would have been was destroyed centuries ago by a meteor that exploded above the city and burned it to a cinder. Here are the details. In a study published in the journal Scientific Reports, researchers showed that the ancient city of Tal el Hammam was struck by a massive airborne explosion with the power of 1,000 atom bombs. The city was completely destroyed by the resulting firestorm and pressure waves. Its remains are located in Jordan, near Israel's Dead Sea. Researchers believe the fiery explosion from up high struck around 3,600 years ago and might have given rise to the story of Sodom, which according to biblical text was destroyed as punishment for immorality. The scientists say evidence strongly suggests that the city was struck from above by a meteorite mostly composed of ice, which exploded in the air because of very high temperatures caused by friction in Earth's atmosphere. City dwellers who saw the explosion would have been blinded instantly. Clothing and wood burst into flames immediately. Swords, spears, and mud bricks melted as the city was engulfed in flames. The shock wave that followed blew apart the buildings, causing charred bricks to rain down on villages many miles away. The researchers said none of the 8,000 people or any animals within the city survived. Their bodies were torn apart and their bones blasted into small fragments. A minute after the explosion, the shockwave reached the city of Jericho, 22 kilometers away. It blew Jericho's walls down and the city burned to the ground. The soil around Tal el Hammam was also drenched with salt and could not be farmed for hundreds of years. If you manage to develop an anti-aging diet or create a time machine or in some other way manage to be alive and on Earth on the Tuesday afternoon of September 24, 2182, then there is a chance that you might be looking up to see a big asteroid flashing down towards Earth. Here are the details. NPR reports NASA scientists calculated that asteroid Bennu has a higher chance of hitting Earth than previously thought. The scientists used new data from NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to make a more precise calculation of Bennu's orbit. That spacecraft managed to snatch a sample of dusty pebbles from the asteroid in October last year and is currently on its way back to Earth to drop off the precious cargo. NASA found that the single likeliest impact moment would be on the afternoon of September 24, 2182. On that Tuesday, Bennu has about a 1 in 2,700 chance of hitting Earth. An impact would pack the energy of more than 1.1 billion tons of TNT, roughly 2 million times the energy of last year's devastating port explosion in Beirut, Lebanon. The NASA team reached its revised estimate by pinpointing Bennu's distance from Earth to within about 7 feet at dozens of times between 2019 and 2020. That level of precision is like measuring the distance between the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower to within a few thousandths of an inch. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft arrived at Bennu in late 2018 as NASA's first and humankind's third attempt to sample the surface of an asteroid. The spacecraft managed to successfully snatch a sample in October of 2020 and is currently on its way back to Earth with it. Before grabbing the sample, OSIRIS-REx spent nearly two years orbiting and studying rubble-strewn Bennu. Not all big, Earth-threatening asteroids are spotted before they come uncomfortably close to hitting Earth, and even for those asteroids we do see coming, it can still be hard to calculate just how likely collision actually is. Asteroid Apophis is one of these dangerous asteroids. Discovered in 2004, the 370-meter-long rocky blob is on NASA's century list, 
a list of asteroids we should be keeping an eye on. Scientists don't expect it to hit Earth during its next close flyby in 2029, but they're worried it might slam into Earth in 2068, as it comes this way again. In a recent presentation to the American Astronomical Society, scientists David Tholen and Davide Farnokia showed their research showing why the asteroid should be studied in detail when it passes in 2029, to get a better idea of how close it will come to Earth in 2068. They say that work needs to start now to be ready in nine years' time. Time. While the risk of Apophis hitting Earth in 2068 is around 1 in 150,000, an asteroid that size would cause a blast larger than an atomic bomb, so it's best to double-check the numbers. NASA created a fictional asteroid and set it on course to hit Earth six months after being discovered by humanity's early warning systems. Earth's scientists worked together to stop the doomsday rock from hitting Earth, and this is what happened. NASA reports that it recently hosted a test to see if Earth's best scientists could stop an asteroid from hitting the planet. In the scenario, a fictitious asteroid was detected six months before it would hit Earth. The participants in the simulation considered various missions in which spacecraft could try to destroy the asteroid or deflect it off its path. Most options to deflect an asteroid, such as deflection via a high-energy impact or a gravity tractor or an ion beam shepherd, work by only slightly nudging the targeted space rock. If performed far enough in advance, that small nudge builds up to become a large shift in position by the time the asteroid gets near Earth, but participants concluded that such missions wouldn't be able to get off the ground in the short amount of time before impact. However, they found that using a rocket to deliver a nuclear explosion on or next to the asteroid could save the Earth. Unfortunately, a nuclear bomb would only be able to make a difference if the asteroid was relatively small compared to the giants that had hit Earth in the past. Currently, Earth's early warning system does inspire confidence. Comet Neowise, a 4.8-kilometer-wide chunk of space ice, passed within 64 million kilometers of Earth in July. Nobody knew this comet existed until a NASA space telescope discovered it approaching only four months earlier. In 2013, a meteor about 20 meters in diameter entered Earth's atmosphere without warning. It exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, creating a shockwave that broke windows and damaged buildings across the region. More than 1,400 people were injured. One of the biggest risks facing humanity right now is the fact that we don't know if a massive asteroid is on its way to kill all life on Earth. This is because space is so big that even huge asteroids are almost impossible to spot. But now NASA is creating the best tool for spotting an Earth-killing asteroid before it's too late to do anything about it. Here are the details. NASA reports that it has green-lighted a plan to finish and launch its near-Earth object surveyor mission by year 2026. The NEO surveyor will be a 6-meter-long space telescope that will use infrared imaging to boost the chances astronomers have of finding large objects that might hit Earth. Every night, astronomers across the globe use ground-based optical telescopes to find new near-Earth objects, or NEOs, and determine whether they pose a threat to Earth or not. But these ground-based optical telescopes are only able to look for NEOs in the night sky. Currently, there are no known NEO impact threats to Earth for the next century. However, unknown NEOs can lead to unpredicted impacts, like the Chelyabinsk meteor that exploded over Russia in 2013, which went undetected because it came from the direction of the sun. The NEO surveyor will use infrared sensors that can help astronomers find objects approaching Earth during the day from the direction of the sun, something that can't be done from ground-based observatories. In 2010, NASA completed its goal of discovering 90% of all near-Earth objects larger than one kilometer in width. In 2005, the agency was directed by U.S. Congress to find 90% of NEOs larger than 140 meters in width. To date, NASA says it has found 40% of the objects within this range. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching. After shooting a very powerful gun at a number of very rare meteorites, researchers have found the recipe for stopping massive Earth-killing asteroids from hitting Earth. Here are the details. The New York Times reports that scientists have found the best way to deflect huge asteroids away from Earth. Researchers who had spent 20 years using a very special and very powerful gun to shoot projectiles at very rare meteoric rocks recently presented their findings at the 84th annual meeting of the Meteoritical Society held in Chicago. 
The findings show that the long-held belief that a huge asteroid heading to Earth should be shattered into pieces is not the right way to go. The thinking in the past was to launch a projectile that would hit the space rock head-on and shatter it into pieces small enough to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. But after shooting the extreme velocity gun at NASA's Ames Vertical Gun Range at Meteoric Rocks, the researchers now say the best defense is to orchestrate a much lighter impact coming from the side of the asteroid's trajectory. In this way, the asteroid is left intact and nudged slightly off its Earth-destroying course. The researchers say the original idea of shattering the asteroid would create too many pieces that would still be likely to hit Earth and cause serious damage. The scientists say their biggest challenge was getting their hands on some of Earth's very rare meteorites. As one of the researchers told the New York Times, it's hard to talk museum curators into giving you a big piece of a meteorite so you can turn it into dust. Over time, the researchers managed to get their hands on 32 of these space rocks. Most bought them from private dealers. The largest, roughly the size of a fist and weighing half a kilogram, cost the team about $900. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.